up guys, your boy Smith 262 and I am back with another video. This time I'm playing on Invasion and I got a special guest commentator and his name is Jahazy. So why don't you introduce yourself, man? Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jahazy and I'm a Modern Warfare 2 commentator on Machinima Respawn. I want to thank you, Smith 262, for having me, bro. And uh, I'm excited to do this uh, dual commentary on this 100 plus game that you got. Because that is a segment that I cover on Machinima Respawn where I post all my 100 plus games on there. And uh, let's do this! Yeah, so as you can see right now, I'm playing on Invasion. Invasion is kind of a little hard to get a 100 kill game. 100 kill game on, but this is like my first time ever getting a 100 kill game on Domination. Because, just like you know, Jahazy, um, 100 kill games are easy to get on like Headquarters and probably Demolition, so Domination takes a little bit more skill to get it on. Um, how many, how many, do you know how many 100 kill games that have you got? Because this is like my second one ever getting. Um... I got Modern Warfare 2 the day it came out, but I didn't start recording it until uh, the day after Christmas, so Boxing Day. Yeah. Um, I got, like, about two or three on Domination. Uh, I've got a few on Headquarters and uh, Demolition, but I never post those because uh, that's not what my segment's about. I, I like uh, making 100-plus games on Domination because you have a more restrict time frame. Yeah. And you can't ex extend the games, like, say, if you're playing in a party and stuff like that. So you don't have any shenanigans going on there. <laughs> exactly. Because, like, headquarters uh, and demolition could could last for a really long time, and domination will usually only last for, like, probably around, like, ten minutes or so. Yeah, man. Um, as for 100-plus games that I have, I have one with my M4 posted on Machinima. I have another one going up there with my uh, Scar H. Scar H, yeah. I got another one with a Scar H. Uh, I posted on my channel, but my team lost. I got 108 kills and 8 deaths. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, I, don't, I don't understand how I can get 108 kills and my team still loses. I, and I was capturing flags. Was yeah, in, this, in this game, it, my team was probably getting killed. Like for, We were like probably down for like 60 points, and we actually came back. And you're gonna, probably going to see that in the future. like in, Probably in like maybe around like 3 minutes. But, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And... and uh, Another one that I got coming up is with the U UMP I call my Oompa Loompa class. <laughs> I also, I'm also i also going to try and do uh, another one with my AUG I call my Allah Akbar. Uh, <laughs> oh, the, the Og, right? Yeah. The Og. The Allah <laughs> Akbar. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I have plenty more to come after that. But uh, what kill streaks are you using here? I'm actually using the Harrier, the Emergency Airdrop, and the Pave Glow. And the emergency airdrop, I don't think it actually gave me a lot. I think it gave me like a stealth bomber or something. But um, have you? Do you use the emergency airdrop? Because I've been actually been using it a lot. Um, on my M4 one, I, I that I posted, I did predator missile, Harrier strike, chopper gunner. My Scar H, I'm doing uh, predator missile, Harrier strike, and chopper gunner. And yeah. I think I think for my UMP, I'm gonna do something a little different. So I'm gonna try. Uh, since it's a lot easier to get those high uh, kill streaks with the UMP because you're up close and personal, I'm gonna try the Harrier, Pavlo, and AC-130. So I j it's just for more entertaining gameplay. Yeah, it's, since you said the AC-130, do you like the AC-130? What do you prefer better? Do you like the Chopper Gunner or AC-130? Because I actually prefer the Chopper Gunner, just because it, you can probably get a lot more kills with it. And the AC-130, for me, I can I can't even use that thing. I probably probably the worst player in the world using that using that um, kill streak. The thing about the AC-130, the 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 one gun that's going to get you the most kills is the primary gun of it, the yeah. the uh, 140 millimeter, I think. Yeah, I think it's I think it's something like that. Yeah. Yeah, the hun the 140 millimeter. Let's just call it the 140 millimeter for uh, <laughs> for, for now. Okay. Uh, well, the main that that main gun, you want to try and shoot it into the spawns, and that's where you're going to get the majority of your kills. And I I call the other two guns just the cleanup weapons, and. Uh, if you're trying to get a 100 plus game, definitely with AC-130, try and utilize that primary gun a bit. Yeah, this for me, I like, I don't know, I just can never, every time I put it on, I can, usually everyone's camping in a building, and I just literally can't kill any of them. So that's why, that's why I just stick with the chopper gunner if I do use it, or I use the pave low, because sometimes when I use the pave low, the pave low still rapes, rapes the other team, and I can still go out and kill still go out and kill the other team and so me and my pave low are getting tons of kills and as you can see right now i'm using the g18s akimbo and that's that's that gun right there could probably be a primary gun it's a little overpowered have you ever used the the g18 akimbo 
Uh, yeah, I have it on my UMP class, uh, but I might change it to uh, Rafika Silence, just because the silence weapons allow you to get into the enemy spawn and just uh, wreak havoc in there. You got a nice emergency airdrop here. You got a UAV, a, a Sentry, and a Harrier Strike, and I, I forget what the last one was, but that's pretty decent from a emergency airdrop I'm in. Yeah, that's true, and as you can see right now, I'm actually looking at this care package, I'm like, who the hell tossed that? And I actually get another Harrier Strike from the from the guy I just jacked it from. So I, <laughs> I, lo I love taking people's care packages. Uh, it's just a lot of fun and getting. I know I already know that guy was upset because if you get like, because I've been jacking a lot of care packages lately. Even you some little dirty tough. thief, <laughs> you little dirty thief boy. <laughs> yeah, no, I, like, I, li I like taking their taking people's care packages. You like taking all their bases and making them belong to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So every time every time I see a care package going up in the sky, I usually just rush for it and try and just try and take it right now. So as you can see, I'm not, a, I'm not aware if you if you knew where that quote was from though. Where were all your bases, from? All, all your bases are belongs to us. Where the hell's that, that from? Of, uh, it's just a popular YouTube video. I'll I'll show you it after. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We are actually losing the game. We're actually getting like stomped on. We're getting raped. And I I didn't really understand why because I'm getting paved those. I'm getting a burn Sierra drops and I'm getting Harriers, and we were still we we're still getting dominated. So like right now. Me and my team have to step up our game a little bit. And as you can see, I get an okay emergency airdrop. What did I get? I got like a like a UAV or, or, or something. Yeah, you got some UAVs, sentry, and shit like that. Yeah, and I also got a, a attack helicopter, but of course my own teammate would jack it from me. Hey, you got the Harrier, man. It's, it's even score now. That's true. I did get a Harrier. Um, but yeah... I'm using the P90. I, I know I already know a lot of my subscribers get pissed at me because I always seem to post videos of me using the P90. Have you ever used? Do you use the P90? Is it like your favorite submachine gun? What do you like the best? Uh, uh, the P90 was my favorite gun in Call of Duty 4, hands down. Um, as for Modern Warfare 2, I'd say uh, I I like the uh, P90, but. I've recently started using the UMP, and I, I, I really like the just the way that that gun works, and it, it just really works for the way that I uh, get into situations and the way that I aim. I just I like the recoil on it, and I just like the way the gun works. So yeah. I'm sick with the UMP. I'm also gonna try uh, MP5. MP yeah, I actually have a video of that posted online. It's actually a pretty pretty good gun. Like if it's if it's going long range, the shit recoils like crazy. But if you're going close range, it's actually a beast, a beast of a gun. Like, like I think it could be like two hit kill close range, so it matches the UMP45. I think that's what I think. I'm not, I'm not technically yeah. sure. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it's all right. Yeah. But uh, it, I know, I noticed that you were down. Your team was down, but that's a good thing because, as you see, your team just caught up right now. That means that there's going to be a lot more enemies out trying to capture flags, and therefore your air support and you are going to be uh, around those flags uh, capturing a bunch of kills, which is always a good thing, trying to post a 100-plus game, right? Yeah, exactly. And I, I just got a stealth bomber, and I'm going to call it in now. I think I get around, like, three kills, three to four kills with it. And using a stealth bomber, I usually like to call it diagonally, just because it, it does Do you know if the stealth bomber goes across the whole map or just a, a particular part of the map? It, it goes exactly where you drop it, and it will go across the whole entire map, basically. Oh. Yeah, because I, I have to complete that challenge. We have to get six kills with that thing. I haven't actually got that yet. So hopefully I, I got that. I got that a while ago on Wasteland. Wasteland, yeah, that's where I, that's where I need to do it on. Because I'm trying to complete Waste, now. I'm trying to complete all Wasteland's my. Absolute, Wasteland's absolutely beast for the stealth bomber. Uh, like I might do a hundred plus game on Wasteland with the using the stealth bomber because if your team has two flags yeah. and uh, you, you just drop the stealth bomber on one side, you'll basically erase their entire team unless they're sitting cooped up in a little house. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the game is done, so hope you guys like the video, and go check out Je Jehazy's channel. Don't forget to subscribe to him, and if you haven't subscribed to me yet, subscribe to me. So I'm out, guys. Later. Peace.